The two for profile, known as the hermit opportunist in traditional human design, or as I like to say, the introvert mayor. You are a gift to the world with your innate talents, here to make an impact and transform the world. You balance your yearning to be alone with your desire to thrive in community. You are a powerful, vibrant force to be reckoned with once you answer the call of the other. You are here to simply be, no explaining, just be. It is in this being, this transformation, this stepping into your power, you impact others simply by allowing them to watch you. You do things in your own way and on your own terms. You are a gift to the world. Okay, so let's dive in to the two four. I have the privilege and honor of raising a two four son. And let me just tell you, it is a delight. <laughs> um, so when we come to the two four profile, these are people who are going to oscillate between introvert and extrovert. Okay. They are, are people who I always like to say almost live in their own little like force bubble. If you're familiar with star Wars, I think of it as like, they have like a force bubble around them and they just like to sort of like be in their own, um, <laughs> in their own little bubble. Like they're happy to just be in their house and do their own thing. And that's their two, right? And then this four comes along and the four is this place where, you know, it, it wants to influence, it needs a network. And so there's sort of this tension that exists in this profile of like, I'm going to go be alone. I'm going to do my own thing, or I am going to go be with the people. And the reality is two fours are very naturally talented. They, they just sort of know things and they often can't explain how they learned it or, you know, where it came from. And they, it just like, they know how to do it. <laughs> it. It's a really, these are the people who in school, like never study for a test and still get like straight A's. And I see this in my, my own son. He's, um, six and we homeschool and I haven't like pressured, pressured, pressured in order to like read and write. And then all of a sudden the other day, he's like reading a book to me and I'm like, where did you learn how to do that? Like, <laughs> no, we've been doing like letters and stuff, but like, it's just so different than my other son. That's a one, three. These are people like they're naturally talented like that. They're just good at that stuff. But the two is what we were, what is known as a projected profile. And the two is sort of the, the first floor in the hexagram house, if you're familiar with that metaphor. And so people can kind of like see in and see what that, that two is doing. And these are people who need other people to help them recognize what they're really talented at, about. And that's really where strategy and authority comes in a lot for the two, four. Um, and they're here to impact people on a really personal level. They're here to help other people transform. And again, with that fourth line, that fourth line, you know, that network is critical success. And these are people who who need to balance that that time with people, time alone. Um, and it's not optimal for these people to have to explain, well, I did this step and this step and this step and this step. They're not going to be able to explain their process. They're like, I just did this thing. <laughs> um they're also pretty democratic. They don't like to rock the boat. Um, and their their confidence and their security comes over time through people recognizing them for their, their gifts. And the themes here that I think is important to notice is that second line, um, it moves from sort of deplete, depletion to nourishment and then back again. Um, and then it, it also is like, I'm shy, withdrawn, I'm bold, I'm going to advance. And then on the fourth line side, it's like, I'm dependent. Um, you're not a confidant or you're a benefactor and you're a confidant, right? So those are kind of the themes that we have here with this two, four profile. The reality is when we have a two, four, these are people who need other people in order to help them figure out what they're good at because one, they take their gifts for granted. Um, but the reality is when someone recognizes, recognizes a second line for their gifts and with their own strategy and authority, they determine like, this is the right thing for me to go and do. Um, 
magic happens. <laughs> and so it's important to understand that these are people who are going to kind of, they call them hermiting away in traditional human design, but these are people who will just sit and kind of be in their own process for long periods of time. And then someone will, um, I always like to joke, you know, they meddle with that second line. They come in and they meddle. I'm like, oh, you're so good at, you know, blah, blah, blah. Can you come help me do X? And the two is like, mm, I guess so. I don't see what the big deal is. Cause they're just like in their own process. That's just how they, they operate. And so it's important to understand um, that the two is not, it's almost aloof. Like it's not going to see what the big deal is about the thing you're asking them to do. And, and this, these, these, this is a profile that exists in dichotomy, right? They, they thrive in alone time as a two, their environment is so key to them. Like if they don't feel good in their environment, if their environment is depleting them, they won't be able to recharge and get to that place of nourishment, right? And that's a really important theme to remember for the two for, for profile. Like notice when you are feeling depleted as a two for and notice where you're feeling nourished, right? Because those two things sort of need to dance together in order for you to be aligned to your design, right? Because it's important to understand that this is someone who is naturally talented. They aren't necessarily going to need schooling in the traditional sense of the word. And that's not to say like studying and tweaking and honing their skills isn't going to benefit them, but they're going to need other people to recognize them and, and, and then honor their strategy and authority to discern which tools they want to dig deeper into or which, you know, niches they want to dig deeper right because traditional studying or like dig like digging deeper into a topic is only going to amplify their their already sort of talented self but the reality is like sec two four people <laughs> second lines in general two four people are not easily motivated <laughs> like they are not uh necessarily motivated in the traditional sense in the world and i have experienced this over and over in my six years of being a two four mom um with my son like you know all those things that you typically do to potty train or to whatever um don't work <laughs> with my two four child right he had to come to the conclusion one day like hey i need i want to be potty trained right so that's really how this two four works right and and the reality is these are people who are not going to be able to see their own gifts they need other people to recognize that and they often will take their gifts for granted right this comes easy to me it's no big deal um but they're also just happy to sort of stay in their their sphere right and they're happy to wait and just exist and 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 then you know somebody comes in as i always like to say metals in their force bubble um and then pulls them out. <laughs> I think it's important to note that that these are people who um, are often called out by friends, right? And, and the two is a projected profile. And that call or that recognition often comes from a friendship, somebody that they're friends with, because they feel that two four will feel safe to step out into the world. They'll feel safe to um, share their talents with other people because otherwise they wouldn't. And the reality is a two, four is here to share their knowledge. They're here to influence others, but they're not here to like stay out with people all the time because they will become depleted and then they will become dependent on other people. And so it's really important for two fours to pay attention to the places where they might be overly dependent on people or where they, they might, you know, they, they begin to feel, um, depleted and where they, they feel nourished. Right. And, and the reality is the two just wants to be kind of left alone to do their own thing. Right? They don't necessarily want to go out and be with the people. They don't want to go out and have to explain their process. And the reality is they're not really here to explain their process. And I often get asked a lot, like, well, what does that look like in business? And when we think about it, or when I think about a two, four in business, I always think of it as the person who like, goes on stage and, you know, talks about their story and their experiences 
And as a result of sharing that, that story, like there's so many lessons that the people in the audience gleans and then they walk off stage and they're like, I don't see what the big deal was. And everyone's like, wow, that was so amazing. Yada, yada, yada. You know, alternatively, this is like, I think of, um, the two, four, a lot of like, uh, Twitch streaming, right? Like, let me watch this person, you know, do this thing, right? Whether that's Twitch streaming or like, let me watch, like, watch me build a funnel, right? Watch me build a website. That is very much how the two, four works. It's like, witness me doing this thing. Don't make me explain it. Witness me doing this thing. And then the transformation for you will follow. And it's really important to understand that these are people who, um, can radically change the lives of other people, right? And there's really like, they often can't put a finger on sort of this force that comes to life when they're kind of put in front of a lot of people. Um, so that's where like making sure you're answering the correct recognition and projection as a two four becomes really important. You have to follow your strategy and authority because if you answer the wrong call, um, then you're gonna be left depleted. And the reality is, is as a two four, you're powerful, you're brilliant. You have the ability to have a massive impact in the world. And you just have to remember to honor that strategy and authority above all else, right? And the reality is these are also people who um, establish really special connections with other people. Um, they're sort of a safe space. They're confidants for people. Um, and they really, they really help other people nourish themselves simply by taking care of themselves first. I think in terms of challenges, this profile doesn't exist in harmony with itself. The two wants to hermit, the four wants to network, right? And so these are people who can become overwhelmed, exhausted. They can get involved in really unhealthy situations. You know, they can be in this, um, this depletion they can um, stay too long in their own environment, which also, you know, depletes them. They can kind of get in a cycle of stuck of just being alone, which is also not correct for them. There's a balance here that has to be struck. And it doesn't mean a 50-50 balance. It could be 80% of the time I'm home her hermiting and 20% I'm out with the people. But the reality is they have to understand that the need to, to be paying attention to that that nourishment depletion cycle or that benefit uh, benefactor dependent cycle um i think the other piece to keep in mind here is is two four kids are not the kids who are going to leave the house at 18 they aren't per tip typically again there's caveats to that again and again and again um but these are kids who can be dependent for long periods of time typically longer than other children in comparison or other profiles and the reality is though these are kids who will be the people who tend up taking care of their parents um and oftentimes well-meaning parents push two four children to like go into soccer or go into this thing or go and do that thing and i remember um in my household you know we did soccer last season and my little two four poor guy uh he was on a soccer team with three to five year olds and you could just see his frustration with the three-year-olds on the soccer team who were like picking up the balls <laughs> and um he came over to me and he goes mom i just want to go home and i was like i could totally see he was completely depleted from that experience and there were several times throughout the season where it was just like I, he, he would the coach would be like easton you know you want to go in and um <laughs> He'd be like, nope. <laughs> and that's, but that's the thing. Like the two four isn't always going to want to go out and get on the, the playing field. So it's important to understand as a, as a two four adult that, um, you know, you're not going to be motivated in the traditional sense of the, the, the world or the word, and you're naturally talented. So you really have to learn to sort of cultivate those gifts that you have and really tweak and hone that and own the fact that you're not here to explain your process. You're here to just do it in your own way. And the reality is that you don't need to explain in an, in, in, an, in a relationship where you feel 
nourished and you're a confidant and the person's a benefactor, you don't have to explain the way in which you do things as a two, four people simply witness your process and they watch you and they gain deep wisdom and they impact. And as a, they, they, there's a big impact and as a result, an evolution or a transformation follows. So when we think of the two, four, some of the questions that you can ask are, what am I here to do? How do I know what is correct for me? Do I have a place where I can go that feels like a sanctuary? Am I nourishing myself during my alone time or am I caught in a cycle of the not self? Do I have a friend or a family member I can rely on? Have someone share with you as a two, four, what your gifts and talents are? Are you balancing some time alone with time with others? Are you overwhelmed and exhausted? Are you depleting your own resource resources um, because you're spending too much time alone? Or are you depleting your resources because you're spending too much time with people? And lastly, have I set up a sanctuary for myself? That is the two four profile the introvert mayor, as I like to say. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a fantastic day.